And as that weather heads our way, cities around the metro are getting ready. In Pine Bluff, they're as prepared as they can be. At least that's what they told THV 11's Ian Russell today. He spent the day down there speaking with city leaders and public works officials. Ian, what's the latest? Hey, Roland I'm Alicia. Yeah, you'll see plenty of these guys, these salt trucks out and about as that storm moves through. And officials here tell me they've got plenty of the salt trucks and the crews to man them no matter what happens overnight and into tomorrow and the weekend. The hard part though is what they're going to be able to do with things like this because of course as that rain comes through it might rub some of this off and wash some it off. So of course some harder things for them to work through and deal with. But even with all of those challenges and the things up in the air for them, they tell me they're as ready as they're going to be. Right, I would love to get through this without any kind of issues at all. Rick Roden is less than excited about winter weather headed his way. I do know that the groundhog saw its shadow, and so uh, we're, they'll be expecting at least six more weeks. But he's keeping a positive outlook, even with some less than ideal outcomes possible. The ice is going to be something that I don't want to see because I know what kind of damages it will do because the ice storm of 2000 was one of the worst scenes that we've ever seen here in Pine Bluff. Multiple major storms have gone through Pine Bluff in the past. That ice storm we mentioned and of course last year's snow. This one I'm looking for it to mainly be ice and so I think it'll be more critical than the snow last year as far as the travel goes. Uh, just try to be safe. It's hard not to think about that, but they're using those memories to be ready for this storm. The steps that were taken during those times that worked for us and then sometimes after a storm, we, we talk about what we could have done to make it better. And so we're putting all those things into practice even now. Mayor Shirley Washington says safety is something the city is emphasizing. This storm complicates that though. Ice is much harder to work with than snow. There's no way we can know exactly what we need to do or what it's going to be like that's going to block us from getting two people and getting those services out there. So with the storm on the way and concern over how much damage it can do, Mayor Washington is staying positive. Until the storm hits, it's all she can do. You know, in every situation, I think we have to be optimistic, praying that we make it through this without any casualties or major losses and looking to the end of this storm when the sun is shining and the roadways are dry and, and, and we're back to those 70 degree days again. Now, one of the things that Mayor Washington shared with me that is so important if you live in Pine Bluff during this storm is a text alert system to get information. You can see at the bottom of your screen and you can see it here. You can text safety alerts, all one word, all capitals to 91896. Again, safety alerts, all one word, all caps to 91896. Mayor Washington says that's the best way to get safety info and weather alerts throughout the storm and throughout all of this as it keeps going. Live in Pine Bluff, Ian Russell, THB 11 News.